everyone, it's Crystal here. Today I'm going to show you my ABG tutorial. Now, what does ABG mean? It's an acronym, stands for Asian Baby Girl, and these are usually the cute Asian women you see out at the club, going out to eat, waiting in line for boba, um, hanging out on uh, subtle Asian memes on Facebook. Um, and I am very proudly one of them. I'm super excited to share with you my ABG tutorial. First up, start with foundation. I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation. Put it all over. And uh, the thing about Asian baby girl makeup is that it is a lot of it. Like, don't be shy about wearing thick, heavy makeup. Because when you're going out to Korean barbecue, I mean, you need your makeup to really stay in place. You can use a blender or you can use your fingers. I typically like to use my fingers because I feel like it allows me to waste less product. In case you're wondering, this is my mirror. <laughs> um, so you wanna blend this all over your face including your eyelids. I wouldn't put the foundation directly on your eyelid, but I would definitely blend it with your finger or your beauty blender. Another important thing is to make sure that the foundation goes into your hairline, like right up here. That way you don't look like a geisha or like Mulan. <laughs> In Mulan, the Disney movie, the animated movie, you can really see that white line. Yeah, you don't want that. Blend that baby in. You want it to look just like your skin. I also put a little bit of foundation over my lips. It just helps really solidify that base. And voila. My base is mostly done. I'll blend it out with a little beauty blender. But I don't like using my beauty blender for everything because I feel like it absorbs a lot of the product. So I do it at the very end. Next up is concealer. I'm also using Estee Lauder Double Wear. Now this concealer I put under my eyes and anywhere where I have acne scars that I want to hide. And dabbing it out with your fingers. Don't be afraid to go heavy in true ABG fashion. Obviously, this is a dab, but this is the original dab. <laughs> okay, so now you can see my face has got a really nice base with a lot of luminous, anti-reflective light under my eye. So now I am ready for eyeshadow. I'm using the Naked Urban Decay Smoked Palette. And uh, I'm using I'm using the brush that it comes with. I'm going to start with 13. 13 is a really pale color. Brush it all over the lid. Okay. Now once you have that white color all over your lids, especially paying attention to the inner corners. Then you choose a medium color, like a brown, and you go in sort of a outer sea circle. In this case, I'm gonna use combust. And you just start adding color. Now I have two types of eyeshadows on both eyes. There's a lighter color on the entire eye, and then there's the slightly darker, a medium shade on the outer outsides. And then what's next is you choose an even deeper color and you start to build. I'm using Password. And you just add that into the corners right here. And you just repeat this process. You add color and you blend. You add color and you blend. And make sure not to bring your brush too far into the inner corners or else you muddy up the, the pureness of the white. So 
see how I'm keeping my eyeshadow brush in the outer corners. I'm pressing into my brow bone, but I'm not going into here. I'm staying on the outside. And one thing I love about the Naked palette is that the colors are very pigmented. So you just need to dab once or twice and you already have a lot of color on your brush. And you literally cannot blend enough, like my arm is tired. <sighs> okay, you keep blending. Then you choose a dark, dark brown or a black to put in the outer corners. And this is where I'd use the other tip of this brush. Put it right there, boom. Same thing on the other side. Outer corner. You can even get fancy and draw that little C shape. And then after you're done blending, you really top it off with another dark corner right here. It's nice and dark. Do the same thing on the other side, except you don't blend this now. You literally just add the darkness so that there's that dimension. And voila. Just to recap, I started with a light color across the eye, then a medium color, and then I gradually went into a deeper color as the outer corners went out. And ABGs, Asians, typically have smaller eyes, so it's important to really do this gradient because it creates the illusion of deeper set eyes, which make your eyes look bigger. All right, now it's time for eyeliner. I'm using the Perver excuse me, I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Perversion. Okay. I like going over the same eyeliner with a liquid eyeliner, and this is purely to get that nice dramatic wing. So I'm using the Stila, the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And this is purely just to give me that sharp outer edge. There we go, this eye is done. Put the same thing on this eye. Catwoman, move over. Now I like to go directly into eyebrows. I just start in the middle of my eyebrow and just draw it on out. I don't like starting in the front because the front will make it look very blocky. I start in the middle of the eyebrow. ABG makeup is typically very precise, can be very dramatic. And so that eyebrow is mostly done. I'll use the spoolie to bring the color to the front, but now I repeat on the other eye. And I love that sharp look because then I don't have to use concealer afterwards to really refine it. it. This does take a little bit of practice, but this product is very easy to use. It's constantly at an angle, so you don't have to sharpen any pen or pencil. Plus it draws very easily. It's a very blendable, uh, gliding kind of formula. Bring the color to the front. Going in upward motions, sort of like I'm brushing them upwards because it makes the hair seem more plentiful, like I have more hair. Now one other thing is to bring eyeshadow to the outer lower corners of your eyes. So I'm gonna go back to the palette and back to Combust and I'm gonna bring eyeshadow into the outer corners. I think Combust might not be dark enough so I'm going to use Password. And I'm also going to go back to the Stila Stay All Day Eyeliner and draw like the world's thinnest line right underneath the waterline. The key is to have it be very thin. And I'm also going to put on mascara. This is the Perversion Waterproof Mascara. 
go on top. Waterproof is great because if I go to the club and it gets really hot and sweaty, my makeup isn't down on my cheeks. It stays where it's supposed to. And it's time for false eyelashes. ABGs love using big eyelashes. So I chose a natural looking pair that were very long and very dramatic. And I am going to put them right on top of my look right here. The key to putting on lashes is obviously practice, but one thing that helps me is to get really close to a mirror and to tilt your head back. Because when you tilt your head back, your eyes are already semi-closed. That way you can keep both of your eyes open to guide what you're doing. And so after your lashes are on, you wanna go back over them with mascara. This helps blend your real lashes with the fake eyelashes. Go over your eyeliner again. It just makes everything look nice and natural. Next I like to go with my Becca highlighter and then I just do some points right underneath My eyebrow ridge right right there and do the same thing on this side oh I love this pickle highlighter it's so pigmented I also will do the tip of my nose right here and then Cupid's bow too not to mention a little bit of my cheek on this side too And I'll also sometimes do the inner eyelids, just a quick, just to give that nice little pop of color, just to reflect the light a bit. I'm using the Milk Cheek and Lip Color. Just put it right on, like right here. For bronzer because as you can see I have this really white area underneath my eyes and it's good to basically blend it all in together. This is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. It comes with a bronzing brush but I like to use a big face brush. This is the product. It's beautiful. Just tap it on a little bit. Oh there's actually quite a lot of color on this already. Start in the contour, right here. I usually use the Benefit Hula bronzer, but this Estee Lauder bronzer is fantastic. So you just go ahead and put it all over your face. It gives you that perfect bronzing look. Lip liner. This is the Pat McGrath Labs, the Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil in Bare Rose. You can also use a lip pencil all over your lips, but in this case, I'm just using it as a liner, Missy Elliott style. And then the Marc Jacobs lipstick in J'adore. Mm, this lipstick is very creamy. I like it. The final step is to use an Urban Decay setting spray like the All Nighter. And voila. I am done. This is my ABG makeup. I am ready to go. See you next time. Hope to see you out in the wild, ABGs.